video, I'm going to be showing you the Yop & Tom Power of Three Goal Planner. Yop & Tom are a UK based company that produce beautiful notebooks and their notebooks make bullet journal spreads really easy to create. In a previous video, I talked more about the Yop & Tom dot grid notebook, which I'll link in the cards for you. Instead of empty dot grid pages, the goal planner has layouts included in the notebook dedicated to goal planning. The layouts are designed to organize your goals into groups of three based on the power of three system. The power of three system is explained here in the journal. As you can see here, it says, do you want to hit your goals and change your life for the better? Consider the power of three. Yop and Tom explain that the rule of three is a well-known concept that is used in different fields. This is because our brains process and remember information that's delivered in threes much easier than anything else. Our task lists, of course, always consist of more than three things. What this journal helps you do is focus your attention on three goals every three months using three steps. The first is goal setting. Second is goal execution. And the third is reflection and migration. These phases are explained at the beginning of the notebook and I'll talk through them as I walk you through the journal. First, we have the yearly overview, which me and my bullet journal friends refer to as the future log. Here you can see your whole year on one page and mark off key dates. The planner is undated so you can write the year in at the top with the months of the year too. Then we have the yearly focus. This is where phase one goal planning really kicks in. These prompts are designed to help you think through what's important in your life and what you can and can't control, which can then help you think of goals that are meaningful to you and goals that are achievable. What I found really helpful is that if you flip to the back of the journal, you can see examples of this filled out. This really brings the spread to life and helps you think about your own areas of focus the things you can and can't control, a list of goals and any notes or reminders that you could include. Personally, I think it's really difficult to try and focus on three areas. So it's handy to start by doing a brain dump of things that you want to focus on and then try to narrow it down to three. Doing this made me realize the importance of prioritizing three areas only and how dividing my attention across so many things might be hindering my ability to achieve my goals. After you've decided on your yearly focus, it's time to write up three goals for the first three months. Pick three of the goals from your list on the yearly focus page. For each goal, there are some prompts to help you think about how to measure success, so you can celebrate when you achieve these goals, giving you some positive reinforcement to keep going. Then split each goal into three milestones and each milestone into three key tasks with completion dates. There's a double page spread for each goal and I love that there's a motivational quote included on each one too. Again, there's a helpful example at the back of the book. Next, we're in phase two, goal execution. Here we have monthly and weekly layouts. Just like the bullet journal method, these are here to help you organize your tasks and events. And since the purpose of this planner is to help you achieve your goals, you'd also use this to move across tasks from the goals section. That way you can build in your goal related tasks alongside your life tasks and commitments. The journal is divided into monthly layouts and weekly layouts. You have all the monthlies first and then the weeklies next. The monthly layouts are organized into three month blocks. So you have three monthly layouts together and the weeklies are in the weekly section of the journal, which you would date as you go along. There are 52 weekly layouts, enough for each week of the year. You have one page dedicated to days of the week and another for your weekly focus, three key tasks and a small section for general to-dos and a section for notes. Next, you have the third phase, reflection and migration. This is a key part of the power of three technique and also the bullet journal method too. There are reflection pages at the end of each three month period. These are really important for holding yourself accountable for your goals and making sure they're still relevant. 
Here, you check to see if you've achieved your quarterly goals, and if not, why not? You also have the opportunity to reassess your goals and decide if they're still important. This helps you make decisions on whether you want to drop a goal that's no longer relevant or migrate it. This means that you're always spending your time and energy on what matters most to you. After this reflection phase, you can set relevant goals for the next three months. Then you go into the goal planning pages where you break down your three goals for the next three months into milestones and tasks, keeping you focused and close to your goals. After the monthly layouts and the weekly layouts, you have a section for notes, which consists of 16 dot grid pages for you to use in whichever way you want. Maybe dedicated collections if you're a bullet journaler, or notes on things you come across throughout the year, or some freestyle journaling related to a particular topic or prompt. Finally, at the back you have another place to jot down important dates and a page for important contacts. The Power of Three Planner comes in three colours, forest green, sunshine yellow and charcoal. The covers are made of vegan leather and feel really nice and soft. There's a gold Power of Three design on the front cover, which complements the forest green really well. There's an elastic enclosure to hold it all together. The pages are a soft white, which you can see here when I compare it to a pure white Archer and Olive journal page. And there are three page markers. I've really enjoyed learning about the Power of Three method and talking through how to use it. This planner really is designed to help you begin with the end in mind, which is perfect for goal setting and execution. If you think this might be a method and planner that can work for you, I've shared a link in the description box of this video that gives you 10% off anything from Yop and Tom. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions about this planner and I'll do my best to answer them. And finally, I'd like to thank Skillshare for sponsoring this video. I've used Skillshare to take classes on many different topics like digital art, photography, productivity and self-care. One of my goals this year was to build lasting habits that have a positive impact on my life. I found a class called Design Habits That Last, Self-Compassionate Habit Building. The teacher, Michelle B, helps you think about what habits to focus on by getting you to think about habits that would build momentum for other positive changes. It was great thinking about habits in this way and how they can have a knock-on effect on other areas of our lives, which has helped me reduce a very long list of ideal habits into a few really impactful ones. There's a great workbook that comes with it which you can use for your reflection and planning as you work through the class. If you're interested in Skillshare, the first 1,000 people to use the link in my description will get a one-month free trial of Skillshare. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.